Hi, Joan Price here for Lion's Den. And today we're answering a question that is very near and dear to my heart. It's on the topic of sex after death of a partner. And the question you sent in is this, how do you move on intimately after a significant other passes? You may or may not know that I lost my great love, Robert, who inspired all of the books behind me, everything that I do in this field. I lost him in 2008, and it took me 11 years before I was able to write this book, Sex After Grief, Navigating Your Sexuality After Losing Your Beloved. I really recommend this book for anyone who is going through uh, sex after grief, after loss of a partner, or anyone who is dating or wanting to date someone in that situation. I, in, in this book, I chronicled my own journey through, oh, trying uh, every stage of this from complete numbness to um, only wanting to wanting to have orgasms, but not wanting anyone else to touch me, to craving the touch of a new partner, but not knowing how to go about that because I did not want a new committed relationship. I was still in love with my dead husband. And I went through all sorts of different paths to figuring out how to make that work for myself. Yes, I did make that work for myself um, to the point that I am very happy with the person I call my joy friend, <laughs> um, someone who, who brings, brings joy and delight into my life all the time. Yet, yet, I, I still miss Robert. I still would do anything to have him come back to life and be, in, be with me again. I can't do that. I don't have that power. For those of you who are going through something like this and you're going, well, what do I do? How do I, how do I move forward? That's what I chronicled in this book about how I did it. And I'm not saying mine is the only way to do it. And therefore, because I know that we all grieve differently and we all come back to relationships and sexuality differently and on our own timeline, I also invited other grievers to submit their stories to me. So throughout the book, I have what I tried, what I did, what I experienced, what I learned from it, and what all of these other grievers told me about their experiences, which were very different from mine. We're all different. We all do grief differently. There is no wrong way to do it. There is only bumbling through it until you figure out what works for you at the moment. It might not be what works for you later. I, there's no way in just a few minutes I can give you the whole book, but I can give you this. Our timeline is our own. Uh, some of us come back to sex with a new person quickly. Some, For some, it takes years. For some, it's somewhere in between. But if there's one tip I can give you, if you're saying, I really want sex with someone new, but I'm still in grief, I'm... I, how do we do this thing? One big piece of advice is it's not all or nothing. You don't have to go from having no one in your life or in your bed to having full-on sex, whatever that means for you. You can dip your toes into it. Start getting into it gradually and slowly Bring people that you trust into your life, someone that, yes, you're attracted to, but that you also trust enough with your truth where you could say, I haven't had sex with anyone since my partner died. I don't know if I'll cry. I don't know if I'll be able to go through with it. 
can we just agree to kiss and cuddle? And if we want to go farther next time, we can, but can you agree that this will be the boundary for today? And someone who is not going to agree to that is not the person you want to take your next step with anyway. So in a way, it's a screening test or someone who says, well, call me when you're over the grief. Um, I had someone sort of say that to me, said, you're not ready to date yet. Who are you to tell me what I'm ready for? But fine, I'm not ready to date you. That's the clear message here. So have a good life. <laughs> but I also found people, um, sometimes old lovers, in fact, mostly old lovers from my past who came back into my life and helped me helped me get to the next step, whatever that happened to be at the time. You'll learn more about our story, my story in Sex After Grief. And you will also learn uh, tips and exercises and things that take away points from each chapter that I hope will help you. And I am so sorry that you're in that space. I... I send you my warmth and my compassion. And for people who want to date someone who is in grief, buy this book for yourself. There's a whole chapter on how to date a griever, but there's also a lot that you can learn about what that person is going through. And um, my best to you on this journey that no one wanted to take. <laughs>